In this video, we're going to go over how to link files in an HTML document, especially when they are in different folders. Now, this can be a little bit confusing at first, so hopefully this helps to clear that up. So first things first, I'm just going to also open my workspace folder for a visual representation of what we're doing, how we navigate folders in HTML code. So this is currently the same folder as this one here that I have open right here. All right, so I have my image folder here that has one file, the logo, the logo, and my pages folder that has my index.html that I am working from. That is also right here. So the first and easiest way to link a file, link an image, is when the image is already in the same folder as your HTML document. So for example, here, if I want to link my logo.png, Currently, this is not going to work because the HTML file is looking for a logo.png file in the same folder it's in. Is it going to find it? No, because it's not there. But if I were to move my logo inside this folder here, so now my logo is here, this will have no problem linking this way. All right, so we're going to move the logo back and we're going to show you how to navigate within different folders. So just as a quick reference guide here, whenever you're stepping out of a folder, you're going to add dot dot slash, and whenever you're stepping into a folder, you're going to put the folder name and a slash. All right, so I always find this helpful going through a visual representation at first, just to kind of get the hang of how to think through this. So if currently we are, this is our index.html page open, this is where we are. So it's the first thing we need to do to get to that logo.png file. Well, the first thing we need to do is step out of the folder. So we need to get back to our workspace folder. So we are stepping out. So we need to add dot dot slash. As you can see here, stepping out, we add a dot dot slash. So right now, this is currently looking from this level here. And a lot of IDEs will actually give you hints. So if I type this back, as you can see, it actually suggests to me that I can either go in the image or in the pages folder, which is accurate as it is currently at this level here. So that can be quite helpful. So the next thing we need to do is to step into. So we're going to step into the image folder to get to our logo. So stepping into, we're going to put the folder name. So what was the folder name? IMG. So I'm going to type IMG with the forward slash forward slash. And again, it is suggesting what it has access to at this level which is my logo file. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. In. So right now, this would be a correctly linked image from the image folder. And you just follow these steps depending on the folder hierarchy that you have. So I'll give you another little more complex example. So if in my pages folder, let's say I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to call it HTML pages and I'm going to put my index page in here. All right, so now my index page is currently in the pages, HTML pages, and here. So now we need to readjust our link here. So again, what is the first thing we need to do? Thinking of it from a visual standpoint, well, first we need to back out of this folder. So first thing we need to do is step out, so dot dot slash. All right, again, it's prompting me, it's telling me, do I want to go in here? No, because I want to go up another level to get to the image folder. So again, thinking through this, what do we need to do again? We need to step out another level. All right, so step out. So we're going to do dot dot. Now again, it's suggesting me which folder do I want to use. Uh, this is correct. I want to go in the image folder. So I'm going to step into, so I'm going to do folder name and slash. So IMG slash, and I'm back at my file that I need to link right here. 